All right, so I'm going to demonstrate just for the sake of showing you how simple what I did was to um, become more explosive when I was a younger athlete in middle school, actually. And, um, you know, that, that base, like I said, has stuck with me even to today. I can still jump pretty well, sprint well. Um, I'm definitely still probably mid-30s vertical jump. I got up to 38 and a half inch at one point. So the deal is... It's so simple, it was like five exercises. I'm just gonna show you. The first one's a 12 inch jump and you did this thing. You started with low reps, by the end it was two sets of actually 400, but all it was was 12 inch jumps and bouncing off the ground. So you start with your feet underneath your hips and it was boom, boom, boom. That's it, about 10, 12 inch jumps and you did tons of those. And then the next one was actually a step up jump. So. And we still do these actually in one of our programs. So here, jump, jump. That was the second one. The third one was actually burnouts or actually uh, pogos. And we still do these with our athletes a lot too. So it's just using the ankles. And then um, the last jump was a burnout, which was even quicker, just more rapid, not as much, because you're just really burning fast. Okay, now it got up to 600. And then the last exercise was an exercise, not a jump, and it was a calf raise. So, on a slant or a step. That's it. That's how simple this program was. It's called Air Alert 2. And um, again, the key to this was starting young and when you're actually, your body is moldable at that point. Your nervous system is adaptable. Um, you can kind of train your body to do what you want it to do. If you wait too long to do things like this, you can never really get the same effects that it's going to have when you're at the right age, uh, which I think is, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh grade to really start to do this stuff. So.